in this lecture we will learn about an stl which is named set okay so as the name suggests so this one is used for representing a set of elements okay so set of elements can be a set of integers set of characters set of strings anything okay and they are ordered okay a normal set in maths is not ordered but here your set contains element in an ordered way okay so this is there now let's try to see so we see let's see some of the properties of set so the sum of the properties of the set are that collection it's a collection of ordered data and that is stored in a balanced binary tree okay so it's stored in a binary tree and so of course the search is much faster so if you have a vector and you search so it will be o of n where n is the number of elements but in a set what happens is search is very fast because in a tree you can search in o of log log of n time so it uses some kind of binary search tree and it's the best choice for inserting and deleting elements okay so if you are in your data structure you are storing elements which needs to be deleted and inserted a lot of elements then you need to choose this one over a vector and even if you have to check whether a some element is present in your data structure then also this is the best option because it can do the searching very fast and of course the duplicate data so duplicate data is not allowed in your set so these are the properties so now we will look at how we can implement a set in stl so we represent it of course using the word set okay and then you need to describe that what kind of set it is so in a standard template library so you can define what kind of object so you can have an int you can have a string you can have your own defined class okay everything you can have here okay in a set and let's see one proper example so this is coming to this example so let's check so we should go to the top of the code and check this one okay so here if you see so we have the we have to include set okay hash include set is done here then what we do is that we need to define the set how you define standard set and then i need to tell what type okay so i am storing now in the set i will tell that okay we will be storing elements that are of type int and then we define my set this is the name of your set then what happens in your stl is that you need to have iterator also iterator so that i can iterate through the all the members of that set and how you define again that so we will define set so standard set and then of type int so this is your set and i do again resolution the scope resolution operator then iterator and now i give its name it okay standard set type int and its iterator so you define like this we see something new again here a pair okay so the your c++ library also provides you one standard pair okay where you can have two values together so you define the pair so here i have a pair of set and a boolean okay so you can have any pair like int comma bool so it's this pair will have its first element as int type and the second one as a bool type here we have the first element as is the set iterator and the next element as the bool okay and it's the return type return now what we do we have a set okay so we need to insert some elements so again very simple api insert is provided here so for i is equal to 1 to 10 what i do is insert elements so i will insert my set dot insert and then i do i into 20 so it's kind of a 
table of 20 i insert okay 20 40 60 till 200 and then what i do i again do one insert here so this is here i do return is equal to my set dot insert okay and then i do a 30 so now what happens you will see that this returns a pair okay so when you insert actually it returns a pair and what does that pair have it has one iterator of the type set another one is bool which tells that was that insertion successful so if you use a duplicate element then it will return a false so here i insert 30 it was not there so if it so if the second value for that from that pair is true we will say that it is equal to return dot first okay so that iterator it, this first is an iterator so i store it in my it it value next we again insert it comma 25 so i insert so let's now see we were inserting here directly here i am trying to insert with the iterator so iterator comma 25 iterator comma 40 iterator comma 50 so i insert these so next what happens this is the second way where i want to insert and the third one is i define one int array so it has five elements and now i do my set dot insert so I give the pointer to that array, the first element, my ints, and then my int plus five. So it will insert all these elements in my array. Okay. So this is done. Next, what I want, I want to print all these elements of the array. So they are all now stored in binary search tree, some balanced binary search tree. Okay. And then I want to iterate. So I use the iterator, iterate it is equal to my set dot begin. So that is the reference to the first element it is not equal to my set dot end and i iterate through it by i plus plus it and i print the values okay so standard c out star it so this way you can print the elements then what you can do is that we said earlier that you can search very fast in your set because it's a binary search tree so again so it's kind of a search binary tree okay so my set dot find so i try to find where is 120 i get the pointer or iterator of that element now i will erase that element okay so you can erase that element and then another element i can erase my set dot erase and what i do what element i will erase you need an iterator to the element so my set dot find gives you an iterator so that iterator i directly put by finding my set dot find 40 okay so these are the ways in which you can delete elements now i can also iterate again and satisfy myself that those elements are deleted so let's try to now build this code and then run it so if you see that my set contains 15 20 so it's a big i uh, did not do any sorting but it's printing in an ordered form 5 20 20 25 30 40 50 so you can see 20 40 60 80 100 these are the first insertion elements then we inserted a few elements like 25 40 so in fact if you see so we have inserted one duplicate element 40 here so if you find its return value so that will be a false okay so that's there we will check it out and then we inserted 1500 115 so again 100 was already there so that okay so these are the insertions that happen and then what happens is we erase 120 and 40 so you see here in this one 120 is not there and 40 is also not there 